Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Today is December 10th, 2022. How are you doing? Session beings are flowing in the river of karma. Things happen repetitively because we carry our habits from life to life. Today, I'm going to share with you a story about a bear bodhisattva, which was a previous life of Shakyamuni Buddha. Once the Buddha fell sick, he had a cold. The doctor Jivaka made some herbal medicines for the Buddha to drink. After the Buddha recovered, there was still quite a lot of medicine left. Jivaka asked the Buddha what to do with the actual medicine. The Buddha told Jivaka to provide the medicine to the Sangha. So Jivaka distributed the medicine to all the disciples, but none of them would dare to have this medicine. After Devidatta learned about what happened, he said, I will take the same amount of medicine as the Buddha had. Jivaka persuaded Devidatta that his body was different from the Buddha's body and he might not be able to digest that much amount. But Devidatta did not listen. He was bold. So he imbibed the same amount of medicine as what the Buddha had. Then he fell sick. He rolled back and forth on the ground and cried loudly. Devidatta's friends went to see Ananda, Devidatta's brother, and also the Buddha's close attendant. So Ananda went to the Buddha for help. Right away, the Buddha went to see Devidatta and touched his head to bless him. The Buddha said to Devidatta, Devidatta, you plot harm against me every day while my son Rahula pays homage to me. Despite this, you two hold the same position in my heart because my mind is equal. If what I said is true with the force of truth, you should recover in no time. After the Buddha said these words, Devidatta got up from the ground with joy. The disciples said to Devidatta, you should be grateful to the Buddha because the Buddha just cured you. However, Devidatta answered, I felt sick because of his medicine. If it's not because of his medicine, how would I get sick? The disciples reported Devidatta's bad attitude to the Buddha, and the Buddha said to the disciples, It's not only in this life, the Devidatta does not know to be grateful. He was also like this in his previous lives. Then the Buddha told his disciples a story about one life of their past lives. Long time ago, there was a woodcutter who made a living by selling grass and firewood. One day, he got into the mountain and a storm came. It was freezing cold. And he finally found a cave and climbed into it with all his strength. In the cave, there was a big bear. The big bear, even though it had fallen into the evil realm, but his heart had not fallen. Seeing the big bear, the woodcutter was petrified and he thought to himself, I am doomed today. At that time, the big bear comforted the woodcutter. Don't be scared, my friend. Then he walked to the woodcutter and warmed him with his hairy body. The snow locked up the mountain for seven days, and during the seven days, the bear kept the man warm and also shared with him his clothes. 
Seven days later, the sky cleared up. The big bear said to the woodcutter, "Now you should go back, but please do not tell anybody what happened here, because if you do, they will come for my flesh." The man agreed and went down the mountain. Getting close to the town, he met two hunters. Seeing the man walking back from the mountain after seven days of snow, the two hunters had doubts. They walked forward and asked the man how he survived the big snow. The man told the hunters what happened in the mountain, and the two hunters asked the man to bring them to the bear. And they said to the man, "If you bring us to the bear, and after we kill it, you will get one third of its meat." The man left food at home, so he agreed. He brought the two hunters to the bear, and the two hunters shot the bear. Before that, the bear spoke a verse. I often lay in quiet place and never rob others' wealth. I eat grass and fruits and never harm others. I'm dying today, and I cannot avoid this. Such beings' bitterness and happiness all come from their past karma. Then the bear died. The two hunters skinned the bear. And divided its meat into thirds. They handed one third to the woodcutter. When the woodcutter stretched out his hands for the meat, his hands fell to the ground. Seeing this, the two hunters were in great fear. They thought that the big bear was not an ordinary creature. So they brought the meat to the sutra hall in the monastery. A monk with supernatural power understood the reason behind. He said, "This is the meat of a great bodhisattva of virtuous kalpa. We cannot eat it." Then he spoke a verse: "This bear has great feet." The Buddhistava has great compassion. All the three realms should make offerings to it. Then the archet, together with all the monks and the two hunters, made the bear's meat into a pagoda, and they made offerings to it. The Buddha told his disciples, "The big bear at that time was me, and the woodcutter was Devadatta." In the past, he was not a person who was grateful, and he has not changed much. Amitabha, this is today's Dharma share. I wish all of you continue to uphold the five precepts, continue to cultivate, to purify the mind with such sutras. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you next time. Bye.